Hey YouTubers, it's Shalita returning. I know that it's been a little minute and I apologize about that. I just had a few things on the personal front that I needed to handle and we're good now. Um, I know I needed to get back to you all. There were a few questions that had been had. Um, there were a few things that I found out. And so I just kind of want to share, you know, um, kind of give a little bit of insight. We've got about 57 more days. I'm really excited. I can't wait. Um, but nonetheless, you know, time is ticking and drawing there. February is pretty much over. And so um, that just means that, you know, closer and closer to my big day. Um, so I and um, there's if you are planning on having a tummy tuck or any type of a surgery, um, but essentially a tummy tuck, that's what they focused more on. There's a doctor, I think it's pronounced autoplasic. And if you Google YouTube dry brushing, he gives a lot of insight on the benefits of dry brushing after your surgery. Um, and this was super cheap. I purchased it on Amazon um, and it's very simple. I don't think you need to be get an expensive one or anything, especially if it's not, this isn't anything that I normally use, um, but um, they said that it was really beneficial for the recovery stages of um, after your tummy tuck. They said that it can peak anywhere between the third week and so on and so forth up to the sixth week of where you'll get like the pins and needles type of feeling sensation in the um, stomach you know, area and that this can help with the stimulation and rejuvenation and getting you know the lymph nodes now the one thing that he did mention and again I'm always very visual for you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and show you now um, my battered tummy um, but what he mentioned is that You'll want to, when everything is removed and pulled down, you'll want to stroke up. Now, it would make more sense since the drains are, my drains will be located in this vicinity. Some people's drains are located here. If you're getting extensive lipo, you may have some drains in the back. But for me, you would think, let me brush down, right? Because everything goes down. But when you're having that surgery and you're pulling everything down, what he had explained was you're going to want to go up because typically things come up to the lymph nodes located in the, um, under the armpit area. Um, so to be able to do that and pull up very gently, it's going to help with the sensation and the healing and recovery process. So this is something that I would recommend picking up on Amazon. Um, like I said, this was about $4 and some change, very cheap. Um, I got it with my prime. And um, it's just, it comes with a little hook here in the event you wanna, you know, hook it um, in your, your shower or what have you. But like I said, I, I don't foresee this getting wet um, if using it for the purposes of, you know, just the dry brushing, hence dry. So I would encourage, you know, those of you, if you've already had it and you hadn't thought about this and, you know, you've been feeling that that tingly, stinging, pins and needles sensation, maybe picking up one of these. And for more detail on how to do it, like I said, it's Dr. Otto Plasic. It's O-T-T-O. -T -T I think it was P-L-A-C-I-K. Dry brushing on YouTube. It was a great demonstration. I think that it was a, you know, a world of information that could be utilized and he showed more in depth of how to do that. And also um, for those who would be interested in um, the massages that are good to have after, um, there are only particular you know, massage therapists who are um, skilled in that. So maybe looking into that as well. But this was something to, um, that I definitely picked up because I, <clears throat> I remember having a surgery years ago and it wasn't in this area. But I do remember that pins and needle feel. So again, pick up the dry brush. That was important. Um, and you'll be sleeping in a chair for the majority of the time. And so they had mentioned how getting a 3D inflatable pillow would be beneficial. So, you know, I got this off of Amazon as well. I believe this was about $7, if that. It wasn't that expensive. Um, it comes with a little um, covering for your eyes and some earplugs or what have you. Um, but it just, if you think if you're going to be sitting up in a you know, a recliner and you're just back, you know, you would probably want that support versus kind of being hunched down like, you know, that grandma, you grandpa you see at the house when they just fall asleep. So I believe that it would be beneficial to to have that. So I picked up that. And like I said, it was super inexpensive. It didn't cost that much. Again, with Prime and it was about seven bucks, but they have other ones that are even cheaper. Um, and this is a reinflatable one. So, you know, I could 
um, you know, remove the air or um, make as much air as I fly it so it's inflatable. But that was also something that I thought would be beneficial. So um, yes, the 3D inflatable pillow and that was on Amazon. Now, the only place that I saw this for the low, like cheap, was Sears Outlet. And I Googled, I searched on Amazon. I didn't find one that was less than like $20, $30. And it was the um, swivel seat cushion. And um, even if you go online, um, it was like $18 and some change for Sears Outlet. But then when you had to put in the shipping and handling, it was like, um, no, gonna stay there kind of price. Um, or I should just say, I try not to pay for shipping and handling and it was just too much. Um, but we have a Sears outlet here in the Charleston area. So I, I my mom actually, um, had one, um, and she lives near to it. So she picked this, this up for me, um, and, and just kind of got herself another one. So thank you. But, um, this is supposed to be beneficial for when you're in the car. Now, when you've had the abdominal separation repair, right, with the HERC, you know, combined with the hernia repair, and you're think, I mean, it's a lot of things that we do that we don't think about. Like, ah, I really use my core a lot more than I think that I use my core. Well, I know when I'm getting in and out of the car at the daycare runs or going to the grocery stores, this, that, and the other, and I'm swaying and I'm moving, I'm not trying to bust a stitch for nothing or nobody once I get this um, situated. And I heard from a few different um, YouTube um, viewers that they they received this they used it and it was made a world of difference at least in that first six months possibly i think one used it into a year um if you don't need it after that put it on the market save it give it to an older family member or something this is very beneficial to have because you're using your core a lot and you don't want to make those unnecessary moves or turns that could cause a discomfort pain or even make you feel like you busted a stitch if you didn't so Definitely pick up one of these. It was um, $12.99 at the Sears outlet here in the Charleston, South Carolina area. Um, I think they were running out, but I would encourage you if you're in this area or if you have a Sears outlet near, near you, go by there and check. Otherwise, it was about the same price, but I think it went up to like $18, $19 after shipping and handling. And I just wasn't about that life. But you might want to get one or check the marketplace. Honestly, that's where I did check first. Um, I tend to go on the Facebook marketplace often, but I did check there first. There just weren't any um, that were reasonably priced. I felt like if I'm going to pay that much money, I could get a new one versus getting a used one. So um, this, I think, will be beneficial to have as well. So again, Sears Outlets, $12.99 and would be great for just making sure that you're, you know, being very conscientious of how you turn in your vehicle. Um, when getting in and out. So that was something big. Now, I'm so excited. I got these in the mail and I had to um, message Jessica because I told her, I said, Jessica, I don't want you to think that I forgot to feature. I just had a lot going on. And um, she um, got me the, um, what well, I ordered from her, um, the drain holders. Now, remember I mentioned those to you and I'm gonna have, um, I'm going to show you a few other ones as well that um, you should probably be able to look at right now. Um, and she's just, I mean, she's got skills. And, you know, it came, to, you know, in this nice, you know, packaging. And she put it individually packaged them and even wrote a note on the back of the card. And, um, but what she did mention, and I didn't think about it, is that when you order one, order two because and, and she's walked the walk so she already knows because the uh, there could be one that you use for in the shower and I didn't even think about it there's one you would want to use in the shower you could just dry it after especially try not to get too much said on it which you shouldn't even be anyway with those you know open wounds or you know incisions um but there's the one you want to keep for the shower dry it afterwards hang dry or you know um, tum low um, heat tumble dry it. or um and then there's one that you need when you're just you know dry and so what it does is you put them around this is super cute you put them around um you know it around your neck and it looks like a little hand warmer per se and you put it around your neck and your drains 
that are right here or right here don't have to be feeling like they're dangling all willy nilly because they can come up in um in this pouch right in this holder and there's enough space that she mentioned that depending on the size dream you have you could potentially fit one or two you know definitely one but possibly two in here and you you don't have to worry about them you know getting in the way um or just draping everywhere or just looking mad disgusting because that can't look cute all this secretion and everything like that but you just put it inside here and then once they're inside you can you know put um the little there's a little uh, clasp holder or um fabric holder put that back around your button and your drain is securely inside here and especially good if you have little ones you know they're not going to feel tempted to want to come up and see these liquids or if you there's a time where you got to run to the store um now there's other avenues of being able to you know hide them um people have been hiding them for years if you got the you know got your husband's or you just got some nice comfortable um uh sweatpants throw them in the pockets i heard about that as well but in the event that you know you're probably gonna be like myself where i got a bunch of like nice button-up um uh sleep shirts or something like that or short sets that may not have pockets for just around the house this is a great option to have and she sent me a second one thank you so much jessica that i'll be able to utilize for the shower because like I said, I didn't even think about, I do have to still shower with this and I don't want this to be wet on the back of my neck once I get out the shower and I'm dry and this is wet, hanging on my clothes wet. But at least, you know, when you can shower, because that will be a little while, you'll have the second one. So when you order, I would encourage you to order two from her. Um, and so then that way you can um, have the second on demand and um, for the showers. And the other thing is, is I wanted this to be in royal blue with pure white buttons because of the sorority that I am a member of. And so I feel like these are going to be my my stunting ones, you know, that I can keep dry. And when you have those visitors or people that come by the house, you know, you, you don't have to scare them off with your secretions because that's nasty and we don't want to do that. So I would definitely look into that. I'll have her information for you. Um, to be able to have that as well. So that's really it today, y'all. I just wanted to stop by, show you the few little odds and ends things that I picked up. Um, and um, I'm super excited about it. Again, if you're in the Charleston area, run by the Sears outlet. Um, for those of you who are in the Charleston area, I'm getting my surgery done through Port City Plastic Surgeons um, located in North Charleston. Um, South Carolina super excited about it they've been so helpful they've been real that's what I wanted I didn't want anyone to poo poo me fake me tell me what I wanted to hear no they're they just keep it you know very real um so you know definitely reach out to them get a consultation the consultations are free which they should be at a, you know numerous um plastic surgeon um offices but I mean Port City Plastic Surgeons for me um my consultation and spoke volume about why I chose to move forward with them. Um, they have pictures on demand for me to be able to see. Um, they've been supportive with me and, um, you know, um, promoting, um, you know, them. Um, anytime I've had questions, which has been several times, they've been open to answering those questions and, and just have been real about it. And I feel confident in my, my surgery. So the next visit, um, I am making my payments to them. And will be paid up very soon. Um, you have to be paid up by your patient teaching visit, which mine is going to be two weeks prior to um, my initial um, surgery. And so, like I said, I'm 57 days away, and I can't wait. So it's going to be a hard road in the beginning. I don't, I foresee that. I'm just getting my mind right about that. That it will be painful. It will be difficult. I don't want it to be, but I'm just going to be real. This is a big surgery. I'm having an umbilical hernia, um, hernia repaired. I'm getting the muscle separation repaired. Um, I'm getting a, the, them to place um, a new um, belly button um, because the one I have is just shot. It's no good. Um, and then I'm getting lipo of the flanks. To get all of that, I'm going to be feeling something. And it's okay because it's painful to be beautiful sometimes. And if I want to feel beautiful on the outside, I felt like I would get that 
the support city plastic surgeon. So I'm super excited about that. And um, but if my patient teach and visit, they have allowed for me to be able to, you know, get some recording of that. So if there's any questions that you all may have, go ahead and drop them in the box below um, or, um, you know, send a message. If you see this on Facebook or even on Instagram, DM the message or drop it in the comment section anywhere. If there's any questions, because I feel like a lot of times we have these questions and we haven't yet picked a surgeon, but it doesn't mean we can't get the answers to them. So I would like to be that avenue for you if you have any questions. Um, also, um, we'll just continue to be in the countdown. I haven't forgotten. There are some people that I do plan to feature that we will be having a, um, a interview with. Again, it's just the logistics. These are real life moms in real life situations and just trying to collaborate and schedules just makes it a little bit difficult. Um, otherwise I have my friend Tara. She just had her surgery yesterday. Prayers definitely sent up for you, girl. I'm praying that that works out. If there's anything that you know that we should know, share, share, share. Otherwise, friends, that's about all I have for today. Do not forget to click subscribe below. Don't forget to hit that bell so that you hear whenever I post anything additional because um, more and more content will be coming forward, um, especially for any questions that you may have. I don't want to hesitate and wait and get you the answer for those. Um, but yes, click subscribe below, click the like button, share this, share it with other people, share it on your Facebook pages and any groups that you may be a part of. I do that as well. We just want to make sure that people are, are getting true um, current um, life experiences. If you YouTube out there about diastasis recti, tummy tuck repair, everything says like one, two, three, four, some of them five plus years ago. Okay, this is live. This is now. This is 2019 and I'm ready to give it to you what it's going to be like. So thanks again for watching and until next time, take care and be blessed.